Hi guys, just Jen here, Cleveland Street Novelties. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited because guess what? I have such sights to show you. Look, <laughs> this guy, Ben Eddie's finally arrived. Been waiting so long and I can't wait to tear him to you guys. So first off, all you closed case collectors, all you closed box collectors, I want you to take a look. He looks super fabulous inside. The box is super cool. It's got some of the detailing from the puzzle box on this side there. But look at his little sad eyes. He wants to come out and play with you. <laughs> look too at the back. It's got such great verbiage on the back, you guys, that I just have to share it with you. I love it so much. Of course, it starts off with the fabulous. We have such sights to show you. But then it goes on to from the velvety darkness of the underworld comes the high priest of hell himself. <laughs> The leader of the Cenobites is the latest addition to the world of the living dead dolls, and we are so very thankful. From his grid-scarred head to his multitude of piercings, great care has been paid to each exquisite detail, and you really can tell, even from inside the box, you can tell how good he looks. His vestments embody the repulsive glamour of the films. The flayed portions of his flesh bear witness to his suffering. His sacred instruments, hooks, picks, and blades dangle from his holy robes. Ah, I can't wait to play with them. To open the doorway to the other realm, he carries a lament configuration. The puzzle box seems to beckon. Do you have the will to resist the temptation? <laughs> I don't, I don't. I gotta open him up right now. I cannot wait, you guys. I, I'm so excited. Living Dead Dolls have been coming out with more and more horror figures. And being a creepy little horror girl myself, I am just loving all of them. I'm so excited. Now, inside the box, you guys can see, it's got some of the hooks and the chains, very reminiscent of the movie, all the wonderful torture devices that Pinhead and the Cenobites use for anyone. Well, just not wise enough <laughs> and to actually call them forth. But look at you guys. Look, you can already see. One, two, three, four accessories. I'm going on accessory overload. I cannot wait. This is so dang cool. Again, super detailed. He's packaged nice and safe and sound. I want to start with the man, the myth, the legend himself, Pinhead. Of course, in the movies, played by Doug Bradley. I think every single one is played by Doug Bradley. But look up here. These great actual metal nails poking out. Oh, my God. They feel so good. They're so awesome. Now, again, look at the makeup. Always. Always, you guys, they pay such great attention to details. And just like in the movie, it's got this nice dark black, his black eyes. And look at that sneer on his mouth there. Oh, so wicked. Gonna move on down. All up here, this is all molded onto his skin, just like it is in the movie. It looks like this creepy garb has just become a part of Pinhead. And the same with this doll here. All the way down here, it almost looked like there's veins. He's just become one with it. It's so good. I love the fact that they've got the detail where this leather comes over the thumb, comes over the pinky. And then look, you can see he's got little blood-stained fingers. It gets, it gets a little messy sometimes torturing people. I can't, I can't help it. He just, he's not using the right soap. I'm not sure what's going on there. But then look here, all the way down. Do you see the flesh? You can see it dips down underneath like they've actually pulled the flesh over and hooked it. One, two, three, three times. And the flesh down here is just dangling with these great silver rings right here. Oh, it looks so good. And then check it out. It's got this awesome cord. <laughs> he goes through his little extra belly piercing there. He kind of flosses his belly piercing. It's so cool. The detail here of the flesh being pulled up. Oh, it's so wicked. Even the blood down inside. Just wonderful detail upon detail. I'm getting dizzy from all the details, you guys. All the way down. The flowy part down here of his wonderful garb is um, almost like, like a faux leather. It's really nice and flowy. So if anyone wants to make any of the videos or recreate anything, it just kind of flows along and it's super cool. And then when you lift it up, it's just more black fabric. It's just the depths of hell that he carries with him everywhere. And I want to turn him around to let you guys see. Ah! 
more great pins on the back but look here look at these great hooks you can even see they're raised up the way it connects down again just becoming one with this hellacious outfit that he wears I love the fact too, again, more pinching of the skin. The details are just amazing to me, you guys. And it comes all the way down. And this again, is just this hard piece of plastic fabric that comes over top and continues all the way down. Look at how fabulous he is. And now, you guys remember, in the description, it says his horrific sacred tools actually dangle from his garment. And I think, I think I see just how they're managing to do it. Gosh, you guys, Ed, Demian, you're just fabulous and phenomenal. And I'm so excited that you paid such detailed attention to this. And I love the fact too, again, I know you close box collectors, you're keeping the value of your doll, but it's priceless to me to be able to take my dolls out and play with them. And now, now I actually have all these accessories to play with my little pinhead. Cause look, wow. Check out how sharp and pointy that little blade is. Look at the point on it. It's just gonna pop, pop right through someone's skin, someone's flesh. Pinhead, you do have such wonderful tools. I tell you what, you are certainly the man for the job. Look at this one, this hooked curved one. Oh, it's so mean looking. And again, look, they just dangle right from his little belly button rope there. <laughs> now this one, this has gotta be my favorite. I swear to gosh, he could take on two people at once with this little thing here. We're gonna hook it on over here. Oh, you guys, he's so cool. Look at that. Look at how awesome he looks. And now, the piece de resistance, the puzzle box. I wish he kind of had, now you guys know Bride of Valentine. She holds her little heart in her hand and um, it's kind of got like this little, this little stem, this little nub, so you can slide it down inside. But I think if we balance it just right, <laughs> you guys look at how fabulous and wonderful he is. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I hope you guys were able to pre-order yours. If not, make sure you guys get online today. ClevelandStreetNovelties.com. You've got to own this one. You've got to add it to your collection. He's just mwah, so magnifique. Make sure you guys are subscribing too because I'm not sure if you noticed, but uh, I've got a couple other dollies here that I want to share with you real soon. And I know we all can't wait to see what uh, little Angus looks like underneath that secret mask of his. So make sure you guys are subscribing. And as always, make sure you guys comment below and tell me what you like and tell me what you didn't like and tell me what you guys want to see next. What I want to see, well, I'm just going to play with Pinhead some more. Maybe I'll get Pinhead and Beetlejuice to hang out and play some games together. I think those guys would get along really well. Thanks, you guys, so much for joining me and sharing all this fabulousness with me. I will see you guys real soon. Bye. Hi, guys. Do you like living dead dolls? mystery minis, cool fun, Funko toys, horror movies, walks in the cemetery, me too. Make sure you guys subscribe.